Well, good afternoon. So today's uh, today's uh, video is of quick 1 on antibiotic treatments of microorganisms. So let's begin. What are antimicrobials? These are drugs that can kill bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites. So they're basically drugs that kill bacteria, and the first antibiotic was discovered by Alexander Fleming in 1928. So Fleming noticed that bacterial growth in a petri dish was inhibited when it was accidentally contaminated with the mold Penicillium notatum. He realised that the mould must be producing a compound that stops bacterial growth. So how do antibiotics work? So, these basically work by exploiting the difference between bacteria and human cells. They can be classified as static or sidal. So static means they inhibit the growth of bacteria, sidal means they kill the bacteria. So, antibiotics are specific and therefore due to the differences between species of bacteria, antibiotics do not work on all of them. They can also be classified as Broad spectrum, meaning they target a wide range of bacteria, or narrow spectrum, meaning they target only one or two species of bacteria. So how do they work by exploiting the differences between bacteria and human cells? So with regards to the cytoplasm, antibiotics bind to folic acid and stops the growth. So an example would be sulfonamides. Ribosomes, antibiotic binds to the bacterial 70S ribosomes and stops protein synthesis. So which antibiotics do this involve? Streptomycin and tetracyclines. For genetic material, antibiotic affects DNA replication and mRNA transcription, such as rifampin. And then the antibiotic that is involved in attacking the cell membrane, all known as polypeptide antibiotics, in which the antibiotic binds the phospholipids and disrupts the membrane. Looking at antifungals, so antifungals were first discovered by Rachel Fuller Brown and Elizabeth Lee Hazen in 1949. The compound was called nystatin and it remains an effective treatment for mouth, skin, vaginal and intestinal fungal infections. As fungi are eukaryotes, their basic machinery is very similar to humans, and this makes it difficult to find drugs against them. Why? Drugs work by targeting a key part of the cell to inhibit growth. If fungi and humans are similar, if the drug targets something in fungi, it will be the same in humans. So how do we treat viral infections? So viral infections usually resolve themselves in immunocompetent people. What does this mean that your immune system is, is able to fight off infections? If not, it means you've got an immunocompromised system. So, antivirals are drugs that are used to treat viral infections. They act by interfering with the viral, viral replication at various stages. This prevents new viral particles being produced, allowing the host's immune system to clear the infection. As viruses are obligate into cellular parasites, they use the cell host machinery to produce new viral particles. It is very difficult to create drugs that attack only the virus. Currently, most of the antivirals available are against HIV, Human immunodeficiency virus, herpes virus, hepatitis B and hepatitis C. So how do we treat viral infections? So antivirals target the application cycle of viruses. This acts to prevent new viral particles being produced. So the first target is fusion of the host cell membrane. So this is Maravirol, it's a HIV drug. Then there's the neuraminidase inhibitors against influenza, which targets viral budding from the cell. Then there's NNRTIs, which inhibit HIV reverse transcriptase enzyme, guanosine analogs which inhibit DNA polymerase and herpes virus and they target the replication of the viral genome. So how do we treat parasite infections? So antiparasitic drugs are used to kill parasites or to reduce the number of eggs in some cases of parasitic worms. Some parasitic diseases don't usually need drugs to treat them, such as Giardia, Lamblia. For some parasitic diseases, there are no effective drugs against them, such as Draculunus, Medinesis, the Denny worm. For, ma for many parasitic diseases, the World Health Organization is focused on reducing transmission of disease. Through increased awareness of good hygiene, this prevents oral contamination, elimination of vectors. This is the sexy fly for trypsanosmiosis and prevention of transmission, which is used for mosquito net. Examples of drugs against protozoan parasites include artemisinin, which acts against plasmodium species and acts by binding to key protein in the parasite's biochemical pathways, and amphotocerin B, which acts against this many species. Examples of drugs against helminths include Pazicuanato, which acts against schistosoma worms, and this acts by causing paralysis in the muscles of the worms. So a very short, quick video for you on treatment of microorganisms today. So the next one will be on antibiotic resistance in the cell envelope.